Hi, cutie booty. Hey. Hey. I know, you're all nervous. I'm not nervous like your sister. Your sister growled at me. You're so cute. Look at those big old eyes. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Layla, you're so sweet. Look at you, my little man. It's okay. You don't gotta be so nervous. It's okay. I promise you're okay. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you for returning. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you are notified every single time I drop a video and you don't miss not one video. Everybody in here, smash that like button, share this video and drop a comment down below during the video, after the video, before the video, whatever you feel. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you like about the video. Let me know what you want to see next. You saw by the title and the thumbnail, we got a good one. So let's get straight into this room also you guys make sure you're continuing to watch the ads I know some of them can be a little lengthy but watch them as much as you can for as long as you can it truly does help support the channel and support me it helps me to do this on a more full-time basis and it really does keep me out in the algorithm as I've been and keeps the channel growing I really appreciate it and I love you guys let's get back into the groom Okay, everybody, so this is Layla. Miss Hi, Layla. What's your name? Sunny. You're Ray. What's your yeah, wife? You want to just grab the blue one on my station? It's hanging up. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh yeah, they get blown in the trash can. Come on, turn around. Let's go. Ah, 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 ah. Layla, I swear it's okay. No. Okay, so Layla is an English Better. Yeah, an English setter. She also has a sister named Stella who's in the back. And she is an English setter as well. She is white and tan. So they're going to be getting a field, a field pattern, field cut, field something today. But first, we have to de shed her. I believe these are working those. I have to wet your face. Wait a minute, come here. You see how this is easy? You were working dog. I know you get in the water at some point in time, so calm down. No, listen, girl, chill out. No, stay here, stop. If I let you know, you're gonna fall because you're leaning over. Thank you. Come on, Layla, make it make sense. You got a little noggin you used to work. Come on, it's just water. I'm not hurting you. It's not fire and flame, so calm down. And it's not even hot. That man, I'm burning her. It's just water. Good Lord. Okay, I have to make sure your face is wet. Fish out of water. Yeah, let's see. Here, I'm slipping and sliding over there. Skipping the board. Yeah. Come on, let me scrub you. 
Oh, you gonna let me wash your face now? Come on. You be out in there working and getting all dirty, so let me scrub it. All right, come on, rinse these eyes. There you go. Right, we got one eye. Listen, come here. You got big eyes. This shouldn't be that hard. Did I get it? No. Nope. Here, I got it. Don't be a turd, Layla. Come on. Did you call to ask which one was which? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Um, I told her, I was like, she wouldn't respond to either one of the names, so I figured I'd call you. <laughs> Um, he wants the pad hair cut off the bottom of the feet. Okay. So yeah, I had to call the owner and find out which one she was because she wouldn't respond to any name. That's Layla. Yes, this oh, is Layla. Right on the card. No, oh. Layla's the black one, Stella's the white one. Well, black and white and white and tan. See, because I was just ignoring me. Yeah. Yeah, you was ignoring me. But that's okay, because I got you figured out. You just call your mama. So they've been here one time before with another groomer, but that groomer has left. So now I'm doing them because someone requested that I do an English setter. And I was like, well, you know what? We actually had something that came to the salon. So I'll book them on me when they call back. And sure enough, they called back like two weeks later. They wanted an appointment. I said, okay, cool. All right, so in this bottle here, I have mixed eye groom shampoo and a D-MAC conditioner. So. They can't see, you have to turn around. And I can't reach you when you're facing this way. No, the other way. Gotta be able to scrub you right. I'm gonna scrub you right if you are not in the yeah. position that I need you to be in, Miss Layla. Gotta scrub this undercoat loose. never done a field cut before so this is going to be interesting but I'm pretty confident in myself that I can do it
because now she doesn't even walk in my basement. So I have throw rugs all in my basement. <laughs> oh my god. She acts like that because he babies her like that. Well, she could, yeah, because the other day she walked right through the shop. The last time she was here, she did. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm, you stay right where you are. Might help you. Yeah. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. You stay right where you are. I have to scrub you. You get in my way. I'm glad we got this table back. Yeah. So yeah, they've been here before. Um, they're still super nervous. Her sister Stella growled at me inside the crate when I went to go say hi to them this morning. So I'm gonna see how she does with me trying to get her out of the kennel. I don't know how that's gonna go, but we'll see. Um, I got her out of the kennel because I let her sister walk around and she walked out, let me pet her. And then she went back in. She was still a little growly. I don't think she's aggressive. I just think she's scared. So we shall see. But I figured I didn't lay the person. She came right out. She was happy to come out. All right, you were happy to come out. Your sister's got some allergies. That's all her fault. All red. Back up just a little bit. That's it, right here. Good girl, right there. You're doing really good. I feel like they feed these dogs really good food because their coats are in great shape. They don't shed a lot. They don't have smells to them. I believe they smell. They don't think well. At least this one. The other one I think does. But she may be allergic to some things that they haven't figured out yet, so that could be her issue. That I've never done a field cut. Well, actually, you know what? I, what you what, what are you doing? Why well, I have to hold you? No, uh, 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 uh. no, nothing is happening to you, girl. If you don't chill out, no. I promise you, if you come over here, you're gonna fall. No, stay right where you are. You are fine. You can't chill out. It's just water. Fire flames or explosions, so comment. Come on. If 
I let you go, you're gonna fall. Stay. You are just fine. Come on. Oh my goodness, what you think gonna happen? You think the top won't come crashing down? It's not. I promise. Stay. You gotta chill out. No, you have to stay. Stay right here. Come on, right there. Right there. Thank you. Just stay. I don't know why you keep wanting to come to the edge anyway. You ain't gonna go fall off the top. I know you're a smart dog. You're a working dog. Use that noggin you use at home. You got this. Oh, you asked for Yeah, they said it last time when they were here. interesting though uh, most working dogs don't know how to act for grooming yeah but i think it's because they don't get groomed ah, 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 they don't get groomed that often stay right here the door is over here to the tub and you wild enough to try and jump yeah most working dogs uh, ain't all the way there sometimes but I think most working dogs are unsocialized. Yeah. They just keep them on the farm. Yeah. Like that Pyrenees that Tatiana had to shave? Yeah. I did him at PetSmart and brushed him out. Can you push your head into my hands any harder, dude? I have to dry your legs. Don't snatch them from me. Stay here. Oh, yeah, up, yeah, up, yeah, up, good job. Come on, turn it all the way around. Thank you.
All right, Miss Layla. I'm gonna get you groomed, girl. Okay. Brush it out first. For me, I do the same thing. It just depends on how mad at they are. I don't pre-shave a lot of dogs, but that's, no, I don't. I think that's just my preference. Because when, when I when I was taught to groom, um, I was taught that if you wanted to get a longer blade through them, you could wash them and blow them out. You could probably get a longer blade than you would if you pre-clipped them. So that's just been my thing ever since I was taught how to groom. If they're like pelted to the skin, then yeah, I'm gonna shave them. How is your back still wet? Like how? Yeah, but it's like just this one area, just this. Oh yeah, yeah. People like to see first person. So I have one. Um, it's not as clear as my iPhone camera, so I don't use it. Yeah. Yeah, and everybody's like, oh my goodness, I was getting dizzy, so I found a, a little medium compromise. We got questions. <laughs> I'm gonna assume they're So I'm going to show how to do a field cut once I get her all brushed out. I pulled up a picture on Google because I've never done one before, but it's pretty much your traditional spaniel cut or I'm sorry, it's your traditional setter cut, but it could pass as a spaniel cut too. So I'll show you all what it looks like before I am done. Well, before I start grooming, after I'm done brushing. I brushed it, I brushed it, it's going. So what I saw online was, technically she's supposed to have a bunch of fur right here, but she a little bald, so we gonna ignore that. But all the way down to here, gets shaved in probably about a 10 or a seven. I'm probably gonna do a seven, I don't really like a 10. And then the rest of her body, get shaved in a little bit of a longer line. So I'm thinking maybe a two guard that's three eighths I'll do on her body. And then it gets shaved down and you leave her skirt. So it kind of comes like a line here. And then you leave her furnishings and then you leave back here. So all this comes off, everything has to fall naturally. So we'll take all that down. This is probably like, it's probably like a three eighths right here. So we'll take that down. So I'm gonna start with her neck and then any fuzzies up here get cut off too. Probably in the same three eighths. So we're gonna start her up. All right, so I'm gonna start with the seven on her front neck. Do not lay down, cause I just got a feeling, you know what? Cause this is what you did when I put you on the table, you laid down. So we gonna hook you up to the belly band so you can't lay down. Mm. You're okay. Yeah, look at you trying to lay down already. A mess. All right, so we're gonna take a seven here. And then it technically is supposed to come up right here and all this stays. So, and we're gonna skim off right here. All of that. Ah, 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 ah. Good girl, Layla. All that comes off. up to here all right so that's the only part on her body that i saw was in the seven 
So I'm now gonna switch to the two guard so it can be just a smidge longer, but not a lot longer. So I'm going to show y'all where I skim off. So all this goes all this goes skim off right there. It goes everything goes. All that skims, skims down. Skims down. And all that skims off and all her furnishings stay there. y'all can hear me you skim down and all her furnishings stay right there oh child let me hook her back up why y'all ain't tell me i ain't have a hook back up all right so for her back end all of this goes right here but everything here oh y'all can't even see all of this goes right here, all that goes, but here and here stays. So, we take it all down. And that is how you set a spaniel pattern. Well, I'm sorry, an English setter field pattern. Hi. So like I said, I just skim down, skim down, skim down. And then with my thinners, I'll take it and I'll blend that line. She's got a little chunky mark here. What's up, Storm? Okay, okay. I'll call you when she's ready. No problem. So that is how you said it. Technically, she's supposed to have more pattern. It's supposed to be really full, but she doesn't have a lot. So, but this is what the field pattern looks like. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Yeah, she's supposed to be. All right, we're gonna spin you around. It's okay, you can spin around. It's, the table's not gonna hurt you. Come on. Good girl. Move you up a little bit. I didn't even get this side. We're not gonna take it all the way off. It's gonna hold the loop right there. Uh, uh, uh. Apparently I forgot to get this side. So bring it down here. And then I'll go in and thin and share all that so it's a little bit more blended. And I'll put the picture up on the screen so you guys can see what I'm referencing it to. I'm pretty good at looking at a picture and just being able to emulate that groom. Sometimes I say I have photographic memory, but it don't work all the time. So 
So if you guys want a field pattern on your English fetters, this is how you do it. So all of that comes off. All that comes off. And you skim off down here. Now, technically for a field pattern you want to just leave the furnishings like that but they like them neatened up because yes you can see their patterns a little sparse it is a little on the shorter side I just don't know how short this is going to take it so i'm going to skim it it's all right it's okay i have to hold it I'll let it go soon. And there you go. It's neatened up at the top. Now they like her ears long. They just like it a blunt cut straight across. So we'll do that. So I'm going to be using a 30 on the paw pads. Stop it, I need it. You don't have a lot of fur in here. I just gotta get it. It was some, some second day when you had a second day. Right. Right. Yeah. I, 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 come on, I need your feet. You know, your sister don't act like this on the table, just so you know. I don't know if you were curious to know, but she don't act like this. I need your paw. Stop. Stop with the kicking. No, I need your paw. Come on. Be a good girl. You ain't got much to do. You're okay. Don't you kick my clippers. Stop, stop. If anybody is looking to get a good clipper, I absolutely love this clipper. It is the Heininger Opal. It's a really, really good clipper. It's very lightweight. It's the lightest clipper I've ever used, and I've gone through like four clippers. One thing I will say about this clipper, though, you have to keep your blades oiled, and you have to keep the clipper clean, or it will shut off so it doesn't overheat. So, I just recently found that out. So, I try and keep mine pretty clean. 
Oh, I was gonna work on her back feet, but I'm gonna do her nails first. No, I have to do them. Layla, don't be a drama queen. It's not that bad. You are much dramatic, I swear. You are not hurt, okay? I've had to hit, had the Dremel hit my cuticle and I eat, almost dropped it and caught it with my bare hands. Well, obviously my bare hands, but I know what it feels like to have the Dremel hit you, hit your skin and all that. You're fine. You're still okay. Come on. Nah, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, no, no. If you pull and I'm grinding, it's going to hit your quick more. So stop pulling. You don't have a lot for me to take off of your nails. So let's just do it. Your sister has longer nails than you do. Stop, Layla. You're the passive one, that's clear. Stop. I gotta do your nails, so you can jerk all my, jerk your little feet all you want. I'm still gonna do them. They're all brittle breaking apart so just let me do what I gotta do so you can go home that nah. all right so for her back feet, back here, all this is supposed to be gone. So we're gonna take all of it off. Here we go. That's how it's supposed to be. I'm gonna use my straights to clean up her paw pads. Because all of the hair in her paws are supposed to go. Not her paw pads, the hair in between her paws. All that, ah, ah, don't you do it, don't you do it. All that goes. Ah, ah, ah. I think that's good. I think maybe you have allergies too. Maybe that's why your hair doesn't grow too much here. Stop it, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Why must you be dramatic? Come here. I need you over here, Layla. Come on, move up some. Come on. No, she forgets in the middle of the groom. Ow. I don't know. I'm gonna do an in-between cut. <laughs> yep, not too short, not too long. What, they have something on it? The dad likes them longer, the mom likes them tighter. Let them grow out. They do, they do. I don't think they're that couple. Yes.
Okay, so I'm going to clean up her ears. They're like, uh, come here, Layla. Layla, come here. They're like a uh, cut straight across. Hold on. They don't like them rounded. So, for her ears, no, I need your face. We're just gonna go right across. Their specific words were, we like the square ears. So, square ears is a blunt cut in my mind. Layla! Layla! I need you to turn around, Layla. Wait, come here. So. Uh, uh, uh. Stay. 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 There we go. So, what I'm going to do with her furnishings is just neaten them up. So, I'm going to neaten some of this up here. some of this here and then here I'm just gonna kind of blend it all in together not take it too tight but not too short ah, 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 ah. you gotta stay pretty dog yeah she is a really pretty a really really pretty setter I just love it yeah Stop, stop, stop. And then I'm just gonna go and blend all this in. Just a light blend so it doesn't look too like scissored, I guess. No, nope. come here. Yeah, we're gonna neaten this up here. Stop, Layla. Layla, no. I need your foot. Ah. Ah, ah. There. Then we're going to. Take this, because this part of the fur they don't need. It's supposed to just fall behind her leg naturally. So I'm going to take all that off. And then for here, just on the scissor a little bit. I want to have the scissor a little bit tighter to match her other leg <clears throat> because her other leg is because it was shaved. No, I need it. I need it. Ah, ah. No.
same thing as the other side. Just neaten it up. All right, so we're gonna take this off here. Neaten it up a little bit. And then for the back feathers, because as y'all can see, it's real thin back here too. Just gonna neaten it up a bit. Just a little bit. Make it natural. It's so weird because it's like, it's thin right in here. But everywhere else is full. So maybe they don't, I don't know. Maybe they don't eat great food. Cause her nails were a little brittle. Don't you do it. All right, and the tail is supposed to be flagged. Actually, before I flag the tail, just gonna neaten this one too. It's so hard to neaten it because it's thinning right here. Look, look you gotta stay still. Nothing's happening. What you gotta turn around for? Layla. So I'm going to spray the conditioning spray on her tail so it can lay natural. So she would let me hold her tail. Alright, you got to get the belly band back. So a flag tail is shorter at the top, at the tip of the tail, and then it gets longer as you go down. So I hold the tail out like this. And I flag it. As she's trying to move. Other side. Just comb it down, neaten it up. All right.
not that far. Wow, you made that look like it was so far. Layla, you got your bandana. Come on, let's go. 